of various reactions have trailed the conduct of the 2023 off-cycle elections in Imo, Bayelsa and Kogi State on November 11, 2023. Earlier, I spoke to electoral analyst and civic organization executive Temi Dayo Musa. I began by asking him his observation of the trends in the off-cycle election that took place over the weekend. One of the first thing that we observe is that um, INEC uh, needs to really, really invest more into uh, the operationalization. There's need to rework um, INEC approach to organizing election, INEC approach to handling election itself. Because uh, in um, in Biosa, some places, you see that um, INEC officials coming to polling units with already filled results sheets. And then um, you, you ask yourself, how is this possible? Uh, is it that um, the ad hoc staff themselves, are they been compromised? Or because it, it to take an entire team for them to come to a polling center to come and um, you know rework this thing. So there's need for them to revisit their operationalization. Then also is to also still talk about the role of um, the role of um, security during election. Because in some cases across the state, you will realize that um, while um, crimes, while electoral malpractice are being committed, while um, crimes are being uh, committed, uh, you see policemen, securities, they will just stand and be looking. So what do you think of the turnout of the electorate in Bayelsa State? About the turnouts, uh, there are two ways to to look at it. And um, this, this thing is funny. And then um, you see... Uh, People, you see the election in numbers, like maybe like the what is it called? The governor, I think, someone having a five hundred thousand votes in this election. Then when it comes to presidential election, because you have to look at it vis a vis, are we seeing numbers based on manipulation of results, or are we seeing numbers based on maybe people actually came out to vote? I don't know if you get what I'm saying. So maybe you see uh, a party scoring up to 500 votes, 1,000 votes in a particular election, let's say governorship. Then when it comes to presidency, they can amass that kind of numbers. I don't know if you get follow what I'm saying. But if you look at turnouts in it is there are some places that um, people didn't really bother come out in uh, maybe Imo, Kogi, that I even buy some people didn't really turn out because they feel like, um, you know, people actually come and, um, you know, there can be chaos and nobody really wants to die. And then um, there are even places that, uh, okay, people came out to come and vote and then um, they got to the polling units and then, uh, you know, they are seeing that um, the result sheets has already been filled before the start of the election. So if another election is going to take place in that kind of area, we, we people want to come out again. So there's really a lot of gaps that, um, so in terms of um, people turning out to vote, I think um, we can use this um, election exercise to measure how, you know, there's improvements in, um, in actually people coming out to vote.